Here Comes the Kingdom. I love, love, love this song. I'm so excited for you guys to hear it, to, to listen to it, sing it at your churches. It really just comes from wanting to hear something during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. We got together with Jake Espy in, during the, the height of the pandemic and we said, man, we just wanna write a song about what we wanna listen to right now. There's a lot of fear, there's a lot of unknown, there's, there's just a lot of confusion and we wanted to come against that. We know that our God is not a God of confusion and he tells us in Isaiah, do not fear for I am with you. So we just wanted to write down things that we knew that the church needed at this time and that we needed at this time. Yeah, so Alex always has this, this framework of, of she wants to write the song that goes in this direction. And it was a God thing because he came in with this sermon that he had just heard not too long before. Yeah. And the idea was counting out, the like people are counting out the kingdom um, too early. They're saying that the pandemic is going on and all this looks like complete chaos. And what are we supposed to do? Uh, where do we go? What, 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 what route do we take? And the idea of the sermon, the punchline of the sermon was, here comes the kingdom. It's always, the kingdom is always there. It's always working, regardless of what you see, what, what you feel, it's always working and it's always on its move. I remember the first time I heard Here Comes the Kingdom, Anthony said, Eden, I need you to come to the studio. You have to hear this song. And immediately, once I heard it from beginning to end, I felt the presence of God so thick. Yeah. That bridge was meant for me and I needed us to sing it on Sunday because it was meant also for the church. I needed them to sing it out over their families, over their homes, over their marriages. And so I just knew that this song was gonna minister to people. I remember hearing the song for the first time and even for me mm -hmm. in a position and in a place where I was needing something from God, yeah. for my family. Right? My grandfather's sick, he's sick, he was ill. And hearing in the chorus, our King breathes miracles. Mm -hmm. yeah, really and literally my eyes began to water mm -hmm. because I, that's what I needed to yeah. hear, that it is almost in his very nature that miracles happen. Yes, yes. That he walks and he breathes, miracles just flow all around. Mm -hmm. The bridge is written in such a way where it's the lyrics take on uh, phrases of two, right? So it's have no fear. And so you're like, okay, yeah. And then it's like, cast your worries. Okay, I'll do that. He's still here. Yeah. Okay, that's a good thought. He's still working. Oh yeah, he's still working. He's not done. Yeah, yeah that's a good thought. He's not finished. So it's like, in these two these yeah. segments, right? Where it's like you hear the idea gets introduced and then it's like a one-two punch, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. have no fear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're like, okay, okay, okay. You got it. Um, <laughs> but the way that it's, so the way it's constructed that way is so special. Mm. Uh, and I feel like, I mean, that that line, have no fear is, the, is so simple. Yeah. But it was this song, to me, it was the song that every one of us needed to hear in 2020. Yeah. Yes. But we didn't know we needed to hear it. Right? Yeah. And then, 100%. and then once you did hear it, you're like, oh, this is the tension that's been in me for this whole season. Oh my gosh, it's released. Yeah. And so we knew we had to record it, and we mm -hmm. knew we would love to record it at our Jumpstart conference um, that encompasses pastors and worship leaders and people involved in ministry from many churches. So. It was just a beautiful, beautiful night to hear everyone sing this song out louder than we were singing it, I yeah, felt at some point. Yeah, never heard it point. before. And first time out, we're like, my goodness, this is yeah. crazy. Like, it's so good to be able to have a song. And when songs go over that well, you just know it's a God thing because usually, like, it takes a couple of times before mm -hmm. they get into the song. It's really beautiful. I think even us singing it and playing it, we still get ministered by him. Oh yeah, there's very few times I play that song without tears. Yeah, so um, I pray that as you guys sing it, as you guys listen to it, as you guys play it at your homes or your churches, that you guys would be ministered by it as well. Yeah.